I'm first of all very glad a very big face in our society. So, firstly, my name is Matthew Face Natural. I'm from the city of Kingsway, I'm from the city of I'm 18 years old. And the youngest mainly about me, I'm participating in the National Students Anti Corruption Challenge. And uh, I really hope that this way is actually be done as soon as possible, and especially as the youth. And this will have to be something. Oh, I'm here. Oh, good morning. I'm Hope Granda, the president, the woman of the Parliament of the United States, and the Secretary General, and the Ganda Woman of the Parliament of the Association. I sit on a health committee of Parliament. I'm also glad that you chose to listen to me about this very important issue concerning our country. Thank you so much. Um, so, Anna, what is your say? What, what do you actually have to say about that? Because definitely, we are good, but you know, what, what, what do you have to say? Um, my thing I think about corruption is that corruption is a very big challenge which has uh, somehow pulled our country backwards. However much you have like the resource control of the country, but the resources that we appropriate, if properly used, at this point, be better than what we are now as a country. So it is a very big um, issue that is affecting our development and the country, and so we need to handle it seriously. I'm now glad that the youth are also getting involved in fighting corruption because this is something that one company needs to know from childhood that it is not a good thing. However much human beings are always selfish, but we need to be patriotic somehow and be nationalistic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. We really need to be nationalistic and from a young age. So if I also can help my siblings to learn it you know, from home, from schools, and if not, it's actually very welcome in schools. But I actually want to ask, because we have seen the effects of uh, corruption. Yeah, I think everyone does know the steroids and they really know that thing. But how is Parliament actually helping us out with this transparency? Because we, we actually get to know that, you know, we get money, we money through taxes, and then we send it out, and then we actually lose it for people who actually are actually, I mean, I know that people are you know, preparing for this national budget and everything. But, you know, we get to see it every year. How is Parliament actually going to be given transparency? That things are actually done. Uh, thank you very much for that presentation and the corruption. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to be specific about it, because words are one of the driving forces of the economic environment, especially to those um, areas that engage in agriculture and they need to transport agriculture products from the producers to the consumers. Um, considering the question that you asked about, um, appropriation and then putting money to the right use also on the road. Um, I will inform you that we have the um, Uganda Road Fund. This is a fund that is supposed to be utilized in the whole country by districts, by urban, uh, by, by communities to see that we can improve the state of roads in the whole country. But then, we realize that most of the money that is supposed to be sent to the government fund sometimes is not sent as is required or appropriated by parliament. So our role as parliament, like the one that actually comes in after the appropriation is oversight. Once we need this money, we want to see that the money is put to the activists. And if it is put to use, we need the value for money. But sometimes uh, we find that we appropriate as parliament and then the financial minister of nation um, takes long or does not at all release the money to the road fund to be put to the right use, especially as far as we did in the road is concerned. Recently, now we're looking at um, most of these roads that are supposed to be maintained and worked on central by municipal parks and Europe. And people are complaining, like the construction have taken so long without being paid. So what do we expect? 
they will not perform to our expectations, they will not deliver in time, and so a project that is planned to be complete maybe in two or three years will take like five years because they need to make a bit of money. This can, as a result of maybe uh, misuse of funds or misdirecting funds at the same time, or it can be as a result of having no money as a country at the time to be able to do that particular project. But we as women are going to appropriate to appropriate according to the need of the country because it is the executive that knows that this is the much that we have in the consolidated funds. Uh, but sometimes it also becomes a challenge when we go to supervise or to oversee some of the activities that are being done in the various projects and then we find that someone it, it doesn't come out very clearly, but it will be implied that maybe someone gets a contract and they get a contract they have to be kicked So these are things, these are the goals that we need to reach or close as parliament and the other authorities that we yeah. So as a parliamentarian, now that you know these rules, what exactly, yeah, how exactly can, can we actually reach? Uh, actually, we as parliament, what we do, you know, we are not enforcers. But what we do is to talk about the issue and then direct it to the right authority. Some people are sent to IGG, and, uh, uh, taken to court, and then the courts decide. So the IGG, the attorney generals come in and they to see that things are put back in the position. So, yes, as the policy makers, now we have no Thank you so much for what you're doing. But then it's so going to find that, yes, you're really meant to speak out of these issues, but then there is nothing done. Like the judiciary, you know, these guys are to be to, to be consent to the court, but they actually, you know, in here they are released after that. So, like, as the policymakers, maybe how should we make the law, like, how can we make the law, and maybe we speak to somebody like to actually bridge this, you know, to curb. Um, thank you very much. I want to inform you that Uganda is one of the countries that have very good laws and policies against corruption, but the implement the implementers, um, I can say, are the challenge because we have already seen these issues. Um, last year, we had a full debate about Uganda fund that this should be made real. That the money that is supposed to be go to, to, to be sent uh, to the general fund actually goes to the same. And now, you know, as members of parliament, most of the people think we have to talk and then actualize. Our goals are really talking, advocating, and ensuring that 